Oh, hello everybody. Uncle Jay here. As you can see, I got the camera set up outside. It's dumping snow. Um, I was supposed to be at work today, but that's not happening. There's a red flag warning. Um, I got it right here. Let me show you guys. This, this is nuts. Huh! Okay. Winter storm warning. Look at this. What to expect? Heavy snow accumulations of 8 to 18 inches compared to what we already had in the last couple days, except 15 to 30 inches above 7,000 feet. Now that's like uh, Spooner Summit, Echo Summit, winds as high as uh, 65 miles an hour. Yesterday, that said it'd be 100 miles an hour. So it's actually gotten a little bit better from yesterday to today. Uh, heavy snowfall, travel will be difficult to impossible. Be prepared for whiteout conditions and sub-zero wind chill. So, yeah, but like the Donner Party incident, that is not too far away from where I'm at. <laughs> so, winters are no joke. You can hear the snowblowers going. All that stuff. So, uh, anyway, I thought I'd share you guys a story today. About the Bigfoot incident of South Lake Tahoe. Now, up here in the mountains, people see all kinds of crazy shit. And someone asked me, hey, Jay, do you have a Bigfoot story? Indeed, I do. Indeed, I do. Now, this story goes back 14 years ago. Now, a friend of mine, he's no longer there anymore. But he used to work the graveyard shift at Sierra at Tahoe. I'm not going to mention his name. Even though he's not there anymore, He, I don't think he wants to be mentioned in this story. I didn't talk to him about it. I didn't even think about telling this story until about 10 minutes ago. So, uh, he's working the graveyard shift now. What, what these guys did, they'd have these snow cats. And they're like a quarter million dollars a piece. They're super expensive. And they would have their own little path and their own route. And they would all split up. And they would do grooming you know, on top of the mountain so that the next day uh, the snowboarders and skiers would have like really good conditions to go down the mountain on on these uh, pathways and stuff that they make. And that has to be done, over, you know, in the middle of the night. And they all have radios so they could communicate with each other, let every, everyone know where they're at on any given time. And uh, one guy radioed in one night he said oh my god I just saw something run across in front of my snow cat now this is up in the mountains middle of the night you're by yourself in the snow cat two in the morning you're alone and it's pitch black there's no street lights or nothing you're out in the forest you just had the, the the lamps from your snow cat shining on the path that you're on this guy saw something run across the snow cat from way up ahead like he could barely make it out a few days later another guy a different guy saw something too now these guys were just kind of ribbing each other like ah you didn't see shit what the hell did you see i don't know i saw a big thing just run across in front of me blah 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 so there's some bigfoot sightings up there at sierra tahoe and it would occur every now and then and stuff and uh pretty much everybody had seen one of the, the, the a bigfoot run across in front of them and they started packing hunting rifles with them on these ships that's when the sighting stopped. The reason why they stopped is because my friend, who is working up there in the middle of the night, he's got a ghillie suit. He's a hunter. Let me show, let me show you what a ghillie suit looks like in case you don't know. Let me pull this up. Ba, 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 da, da. Huh? This is a ghillie suit. And you can get them in all kinds of colors and shit. But I mean, but look at this thing. So uh, my friend decided to take his ghillie suit with him throw it in a bag or something, put it with him in the snow cat, and he would go and hide out in the forest wearing this fucking thing, wearing his radio, and he would wait for somebody to get around the corner, and then he'd run across the, the woods, across the path wearing this fucking thing, and scare, he scared the shit out of everybody wearing this thing. <laughs> Can you imagine seeing something like this cross your path? in a snowstorm in the middle of the night up on a mountain 
He'd be shitting bricks. Anyways, that's what he did. And he he pulled this prank on people, everybody up there, for a good two or three weeks or whatever. But when he saw uh, guys coming into work, bringing their hunt rifles and shit, that's when he packed the suit uh, and uh, put the ghillie suit away and uh, put a stop to it because he didn't want to get shot. Do I believe in Bigfoot? I believe that there's things that are known and things that are unknown. And in between are the doors. On that note, hope you enjoyed the story. I'm freezing my ass off. I gotta get my computer back inside before it fries because the snow's melting on it. Anyways, be safe out there, guys. High fives and boners. Catch you later. How do I stop this thing?